Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Victory 2 as the Confederate States in our Confederate States campaign. So, we just took quite a bit from the Americans. And it's time to take some stuff from Mexico. We can declare war. We have some cores on Mexican territory now. Uh, we will make good use of it. For some reason, we're making just crap living tons of money. I don't actually know why we're making so much money, but I'm not going to complain. I think we will have to battle the Americans again, however, which is unfortunate. Um, we might have to grab some more military tech just to just to be sure that we can defeat him. <clears throat> it's probably not a bad idea. We still have Robert E. Lee in charge of our armies. He's actually still alive. Wow. Mexico's pretty weak. Well, he's actually got he's got he's got 25 brigades. He's actually not that weak. He's weak as far as terms of technology. So, I think we'll be still, I think we'll be just fine. I think we can just, we can beat them. Ooh, time-saving measures. Let's go for that. Yeah, this actually boosts um, factory production quite a bit. Most of our factories are not profitable. I'm not entirely sure why, but it looks like um, they either can't afford to buy their, their inputs, or there's not enough materials in the market to satisfy their inputs. Probably just a mixture of both. So, it's unfortunate. Uh, the Americans are remilitarizing, though, so we should be careful. Mm. So we'll keep we'll keep two armies over here in the north, in Washington, Maryland, and such, and then we'll send some troops to the south to uh, beat up Mexico. We should be just fine in doing so. We need to re-fortify everything around the place, though, because we do need more forts. I can't demand anything from the Americans, though, because we have hit our infamy limit. We can't go over 25 infamy. Or else we get, um, really bad things to happen to us. <clears throat> we have, uh, some more railroads, I think, on the way, which is cool. We can now influence other nations as well, so I guess we should start doing that? I suppose... We could actually probably invade Guatem um, uh, Hawaii as well. We do that. United States of America is going to be messing around with us. That sucks. It's unfortunate. Damn, this guy remilitarized pretty fast. Kind of scared. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. Let's declare Mexico. Who will join him? Just America and Guatemala, apparently. What's the difference between acquire American core and acquire core? It looks like acquire core is like a little cheaper. No, I think they're literally exactly the same. Okay. I don't know. For some reason, the British are not really willing to join most of my conflicts. I don't know why. So he did join, you bastard. We'll just fuck this guy's shit. Let's mobilize. We can mobilize 18 regiments now. We're taking 4% attrition in this location. We actually probably need... Yeah, we don't have any engineers in this stack, so we don't actually siege that quickly. All right, let's grab an engineer then from St. Louis, Missouri. <clears throat> this means that this stack is a combat stack, so we're going to want to destroy the Mexican army before we siege anything. Whoa, we took quite a bit of casualties here, didn't we? I think we have too many artillery in this stack. Yeah, we do. We don't have enough inventory. Hmm. All right, let's send you guys to San Antonio, Texas. Oh shit, now you need to go to San Antonio.
Immigrant riots? Let us listen to their grievances. Uh, we are not doing that great in these battles, man. We should be, like, stack wiping these guys, but we're not. <clears throat> Could be an issue. Come on, dude. We're fucking taking too many losses here. Shit. Give me a stack wipe or something. Come on. You pieces of ass. Nice. Killed quite a bit there. <clears throat> We're not doing too bad on replenishment. That is, uh, that's nice. It's nice to have that. Where's my engineer? This guy. No, actually, you know what? We'll send, yeah, we'll send this army this way. Okay, where are the Americans? Marietta? <clears throat> Give me a stag wipe, dimmit. This guy's 28 fucking regiments? Where? Here? Oh, yeah, that was his entire army. Oh, shit. I was like, whoa, dude. Where? I was like, where are those 28,000 reg or 28 regiments? Uh, wow. Just stag wipe that force. That's beautiful. Let's merge up with this engineer here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and send. Let's just send just the engineer. Jesse Engineer, go to San Antonio. Let's grab the inventory. It's 12,000. We'll have them hang out here in Philadelphia. Mm, I'm not sure if I can acquire this in one war. Yeah, 49 war score in this one, and then 59 war score for the other state. Which is, <clears throat> uh, Cahuila? Yeah, this is, uh, Nuevo León, and this is Cahuila. Okay. Hmm. This means I'll have to fight two wars for my cores. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> the people want non-secret ballots, but I'm actually going to use this opportunity to... You get naturalization. Pop militancy will go up, but we do get immigrant attraction. We need the population growth, so I have to I have to take that measure. We have to do that. <clears throat> Where the hell? Engineers. Let's go and split this stack, I think. Oh shit, no. Ooh, I'm glad I caught that. <clears throat> it's 1886 right now. Electricity would give me pop growth. Quite a bit of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to want this for sure. This gives us like 45% research points. Um, Let's go for it. Yeah, let's go for some, some cultural stuff. Revolution, counter-revolution, psychoanalysis. Uh, we'll need machine guns pretty soon. <clears throat> oil oil in dallas texas good 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 come on dude you guys gonna give up or what shit you cheap bastards give up man surrender <clears throat> Apparently insufficient postage from the Panama Canal. <laughs> oh, Paradox, you're funny. Let's go for... Uh, yeah, we can go for Matamoros. That's fine. I think we take some attrition on the way though, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> Only 1%. It's not too bad. The supply limit's actually pretty good. We're not doing too bad. Damn it, give up. 
Dude, look at these damn rebels. I, I literally have rebels just like popping up out of nowhere. It's very unfortunate. Hey, we're no longer in a recession. Beautiful. We just got commercial retailers. That's pretty cool. Kaboom. We need more engineers. Hmm. Uh, I think the socialist vote should win, but considering how many troops we've probably lost, we do need some more... We do need some more manpower. <clears throat> Proof capitalist and worker promotion to three. Sounds good. You gotta be kidding me, man. This guy's not giving up yet. What the hell? Surrender, you fat bastard. Are you kidding me? More militant socialists, damn it. We're at like 10 consciousness. Holy shit, that's a lot. <laughs> that's quite a bit. <clears throat> you sons of bitches, you guys need to give up. Surrender and bow to my will. Ugh. Fine, would you give put down the rebels, please? Thank you. All right, we just took Monterey. Let's take Reynosa. El Mirador. Um, looks like the Germans have discovered something in Mexico. Finally. Yes. How was that so hard? How was that so hard, America? Come on, man. How was that so difficult? Okay, yeah, we need to be at peace for a few years. Let's conduct a census. Get that good old prestige. <clears throat> we have, like, way too much money. Who else is building steamers now? Brazil, France, and the Netherlands. Uh, I don't think we can get commerce readers. Can we get steam transports? Maybe. We probably cannot buy the goods for these, though. If only I had state capitalism, man. Okay, so the truce with America ends in uh, 1891, so we have five years of peace. <clears throat> so yeah, we have to wait quite a while for this monthly infamy, or for this infamy to go down. Um, it's gonna take a little bit. This is like, look at these borders, man. Ew. <laughs> these borders are nasty. Um, Spain is no longer in the sphere of the British, but he's still allied to them. Which means I can't attack for Cuba. More... Commies. That is unfortunate. I swear we had more men than this. Have we lost really that many men? I think we have. I think we really have that loss, that many men. I don't know. We don't have a large military. We really don't have many, very many troops at all. The Huangwei bursts its banks once more. Hey, we could do reform. Uh, what would the people like? 14 hour workday or non secret ballots. All right. How's the immigrant attraction? It's still good. There's people are still going to the United States. Ugh. You bastards. Let's grab uh, steamer transports. We have commerce raiders. Yes, excellent. We can finally get the damn steamer convoys.
We have really, really good retrace points. We have 73.4% literacy. It's really good. We're still researching revolution, kind of revolution. More reforms. Looks like people want... Trinket minimum wage? We want pensions. Pensions. Oh, the voters want pensions. Sure. Sounds good. We make a lot of money, man. We make a lot of money. So the next war will definitely be for Colorado, probably Wyoming, Montana, North Dakota, and we'll, um, towards, towards, I think, the end of uh, the 1800s, we'll probably be annexing, like, core American territory. Mm. How many reactionaries do I have? I don't really have any reactionaries. Okay. Yes. What do I need now? Um, I can go for psychoanalysis. Let's go for psychoanalysis for the uh, education efficiency. Means of production. Let's go for soldiers, please. We still do not have socialists in power, but I'd really like it if we could subsidize the factories. That'd be like really helpful. We need to get machine guns too. Prohibition? Yeah, we can we can support it. Sure. I know it gets it gets us more conservatives, but I think the socialists are doing just fine. I don't think they need my help. Thank God there's not too many liberals. In fact, actually the single largest ideology is liberal, but socialist is up there. Let's rip these factories again. These factories are just not profitable. They're just they're just not profitable. Yeah. Laissez faire. Just just doesn't work, man. Doesn't work. Doesn't work, man. <clears throat> We're 12th in the world in military power. It's definitely not enough. Yeah, the United States is already remilitarizing. Hmm. Their population is enormous. Their population is a lot larger than ours. It's going to be a problem. The German population is massive. Uh, France and Germany have gone to war. Long leave the Confederate States. Yes, we're getting corn Chihuahua. Punch clock. Ooh, 12-hour workday, sure. A 12-hour workday. Can you believe that? You know how long a 12-hour workday is? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Such a thing right now would be... Actually, it's not that it's not unheard of, but... Trinket minimum wage? Don't I have that already? Oh, all right. Yeah, I'll go ahead and pick that reform then. Fine. Utah extend slavery. Okay, so our navies are coming online. I think we can possibly get rid of this wooden navy now. Because the, the commerce raiders and such are about to be finishing up. So let's go and get rid of that navy. We we'll want commerce raiders. We do need to do more naval tech research though. We are way behind on naval tech. 1860s and 1850s naval tech. It's 1990 right now. <laughs> we need more soldiers. Engineers. We could use some hussars. Our railroads are doing good. Railroads are doing very well. We're fourth in the world for prestige, which is impressive. Americans are getting pretty strong. They have good leaders. They have a lot of soldiers. That's the thing. Their population is soldiers. We definitely don't have enough. Yeah, they have way more soldiers than we do. So here's a scramble for Africa. It's actually fairly historical. The Germans are in East Africa. Portuguese, the British have taken quite a bit of this. Uh, the Turks. It's weird. 
Actually looks not too bad. Although Egypt is independent, which is kind of weird. Egypt is independent. <laughs> looks a little strange. We have another damn election. Let's see if we can get the socialism power so I can subsidize my factories and keep up that industrial score. Anger against the government? The Confederate States of America has its share of problems. Really? Ooh. Ruling party support, minus 50%. That might actually help us get the socialists in power. We're gonna get militant socialists. Um, a little bit of Jacobus. There's Mormons! Mormons! Election fraud. I don't really want to go for planned economy because that is planned economy is uh, communist, not socialist. I must be cautious. Ooh, iron. Let's see what reform these guys want. Non-secret ballots. Voters want atheism, but non-secret ballots. For your draft. Oh, okay. No more. Oh, all right then. <laughs> yeah. I guess no more reform. <laughs> I didn't even click anything. No, damn it. You and your wildcat bills go away. State capitalism, please. Full citizenship, please. I'm pretty sure the socialists are going to win. It's not gonna be the it's gonna be the socialists with the liberals probably. Protectionism, yes. Let's see how many slaves do we have now. Still three hundred fifty-one thousand or three hundred fifty-one point nine seven thousand. The Jacobins, they don't concern me. Atheism. Sure. Imagine that, a confederate, socialist, slave-holding, federal, constitutional republic. <laughs> Who would have known? Protectionism, please. Costa Rica, yes! Socialists finally in power! Let's go for naval tech. Damn, that took a long time. We have socialists now. Let's see, protectionism, state capitalism, atheism, full citizenship, pro-military. Incredible. The Confederate people have spoken. Dude, look at those immigrants, my god. Yeah, we need to go more liberal. We need to be like, protected minority rights, naturalization. We have to be quite liberal. So we're still building up the Navy, steam transports, and then uh, commerce raiders. I do want some actual capital ships. We got an efficient sociopath. Leadership minus 0 0.1, but factory output. <laughs> Why is he a sociopath? Uh, for your draft. Check to minority rights. Jefferson method. Yeah, I'll go for non-secret balance. That's fine. Non-secret balance. Do we have soldiers everywhere? Except for... Maryland and Georgia. That's alright, though. We have oil now, right? Are we producing oil yet? Let's actually go and find out. Yeah, we're actually producing quite a bit of oil. Okay. That's good. I'm actually not ever sure if we're ever going to get rid of slavery. I actually don't think we can. I don't think we can. There's nobody that wants to push through that reform ever. I guess in theory we could. People want it gone. But I mean, would we even would we even still be the Confederate? No, yeah. We we still have the slavery debate. So it means that we are never able to get rid of slavery ever. It's just impossible. Wait, do we have the slavery debate? 
I guess we do. It's telling me we do. So we have to have it. What's our next, uh, what's our next tech? I think it's gonna be this guy. That guy, and then we need some machine guns we need. In 1900, we're gonna have some more techs. <clears throat> So I can build up some research points. You can actually save research points. A lot of people don't know that, but you can save research points in Victoria 2, and you can you can save them up for a little while, and you can put them towards really, really important texts. So, like, neoclassical theory, really important. And then you can go also for, um... Phenomenology and Hermeneutic. We also want that. So you can save points. To my knowledge, you can save points. Should say it somewhere on here. Oh yeah, there we go. We've accumulated, yeah, this many research points that are unused. That's what it is. At least this infamy is going down pretty quickly, too. There we go. Yeah, we've accumulated about 4,000 research points. There we go. So when it hits 1890, we will start on that new research points tech. Get some more research points. Holy shit, apparently Chihuahua has 12.54% soldiers. Damn. That's a lot. Oh, that's right. We can build factories now. Yeah, we should do that. You know what I do want to produce is steamer convoys. We need steamer convoys, like, everywhere. What do steamer convoys require? I mean, uh, not steamer convoys. Steamer shipyards. What do they call them? They call them, uh, yeah, steamer shipyards. We need steel and machine parts. So let's find, let's see, Tennessee, Missouri, North Carolina, Maryland. Maybe I can build in Maryland. Oh, you bastard. Eight out of eight factories already? Shit. Okay. <laughs> that's that's a shame. Perhaps Virginia? How many? Uh, yeah, Virginia. Steamer shipyard. Steel factory? Sure, steel. Give it to me. <clears throat> uh, steel factory. I need steamer shipyards. We can get fuel refineries in Texas. That'll be a good idea. Steamer shipyards. Let's go to Texas then. I wish I was in Texas. Let's get a fuel refinery. We need oil, which we do have. Build a steamer shipyard here. Build steel factories. Good. Should be okay enough for now. Anarchic bomb throwers. Wow. Accumulated about 6,000 research points. Excellent. I, You know what I wish? I wish Europa Universalis 4 had this fucking research, uh, research system. It's just the best. It's just the best. Seventy six percent literacy. That is impressive. That's very, very impressive for this time. I love this system of research, man. We can push through another reform. I guess secret ballots, people want secret ballots. That's fine. <clears throat> it's okay. Liberal party rocked by a scandal. Outrageous. Our narrow, whatever will they do? Uh, ooh, 
from now on, each war that includes at least two great countries on each side will get the status. Great War. Oh, shit. So that means that the next time we declare war in the United States, it becomes a Great War. Oh, actually, I think it's two great powers on each side. I'm actually not sure if it's just in general. I don't know. Ooh, we just discovered Alfred Thayer Mahan. Love that guy. What's the literacy of our slaves? Are you for real? We actually have slaves that are illiterate. Oh, wow, we have Romanian slaves that are illiterate. And then we have slaves here that are literate. That's cool. <laughs> what the hell? What in the fuck? <laughs> That's weird. We shall attend anyway. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.